Hey everyone, I'm on the CrowdSpark subreddit and there's a post from Minu Kitty and she says, help launching a digital media startup. I've previously launched a video heavy digital media startup editorially, strategically and operationally. I did not raise the money and grew it to successful series B raise. Prior to that, I oversaw another one. Now I have what I think is a strong idea for my own and a history of success doing so, but no background in raising money. Also, think view VCs want to invest in media right now. I would love any thoughts or ideas. So here's um, here are my thoughts on growing a business. And the first thought is, um, well, you have a couple options. The, number one is you can bootstrap it. And bootstrap it um, is really great and also incredibly scary. I bootstrapped my company, uh, grew it to um, $4 million last year, 10 employees, we're on the Inc. 500. Uh, bootstrapping is scary because uh, you're not earning money for a while and you're spending money and uh, you got to make sure the economics work out. The reason bootstrapping is really incredibly valuable is because you end up learning how to do things in a way that is much more financially suitable, uh, scalable, than by raising fast cash. And I learned a lot of things along the way that make me a much more um, valuable professional for my organization and frankly for other organizations if it ever if it ever if we ever get acquired or something I just have knowledge and experience that frankly I wouldn't have learned if I would have gotten a bunch of money what I also realize is that if I'd have gotten a bunch of money to operate my business um, I probably wouldn't have done so well and the reason we wouldn't have done so well is because um, fundamentally uh, I wouldn't have learned the things I needed to learn on how to sell how to inspire and motivate how to be a better human how to um, identify challenges how to focus on things that are important because I wouldn't have had those lessons because I'd have gone through a lot of money like one of the most interesting things I learned is how incredibly valuable and important emotional IQ is and one of the things I learned in my business is that um, I have very low emotional IQ and uh, to nurture a team and to have them feel comfortable with the work that we're doing and the process that we're developing I need to actually bring in our a, a, a person with incredibly high emotional IQ <coughs> excuse me and that person is now our chief operating officer and someone who I've known for 20 years um, his name is Tony Price incredibly incredible persons but I digress so if you are in the business of creating a uh, developing a life-changing visceral experience um, bootstrap uh, certainly bootstrapping is not not an option for everyone the next step I would do especially because you're in the content business is I, I would look for brands I would showcase um, your knowledge and capabilities and I would look for brand sponsorships and partnerships um, the idea here would be um, get a brand to pay you um, they're effectively your investors they have specific needs develop content for them create the platform with them in mind and now you have a built-in funding source a uh, a way to grow your business without uh, needing to bootstrap or raise funding in more traditional ways so I would look at um, I would look at that and the last thing is you have angel investors networks of people who um, are willing to put money down on different things and the best advice I can give you there having not done that myself is that there are networks like in Los Angeles or Silicon what is it Silicon Beach um, there's Kevin Winston he's a great connector and knows a lot of people um, and there are networks all across the country for people who have 10 20 100 200 thousand dollars to spend because they want a return on investment that is greater than three to five percent you can get on um, on other with w on other investments um, these people have risk profiles that would be aligned with your with with the, the investment that you're making um, and then finally like you know like for example there is a group called entrepreneurs organization which I just joined and um, it's an incredible group and there are investors in that group and so you want to connect with people 
one of the most interesting things I've learned recently is in order, there, there's, there's a couple points here. Number one, spend your time with people who are doing exponentially bigger things than you're doing. So Ty Lopez has this rule of thirds. And the rule of thirds is spend your time, a third of your time with people who are above you. And, I, and when I say above, I mean like who you'll never get a chance to connect with on a regular basis, but who you seek out. For me, these are 100 millionaires and billionaires, right? People are doing exponentially bigger things than I'm doing. But I want to learn from them. I want to learn the things that they know how to do so that I can start doing those things as well. Spend a third of your time with um, people who are kind of like your peers, your coworkers, your, your professional group, your friends, your family, that type of thing. And then spend a third of your time with people who need something from you, uh, people who are below you in some way. Um, and these are people who um, you can do something for and you can help them win or benefit in some way or people who know some want to know something that um, that you currently know like how to get into the business that you're you're trying to do and I think all of this all of this rolls up into um, enrolling people enrolling people into your story enrolling people into the vision that you are developing for your life and for your business and inspire and motivate people to to do things for you when they really don't have to but they want to because of who you are something that you bring out in them your enthusiasm your motivation so that's my point of view on on how you can raise money and it'll take time it's not going to be a fast thing unless you get extremely lucky um, hang out, go, you know, someone I met the other day said, go, well, let's just go have lunch at Nobu uh, in, Ma in Malibu so that we can hang out and maybe have a conversation with a billionaire. It takes time. It might take years for you to do this, but time, you'll learn, you'll learn a lot of things along the way. Best of luck. Happy to talk more if you like.